Oh, hey, uh, didn't see you there, sorry. Um, so yeah, where am I now? This is Tony, welcome to Coolest Life. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Be all the subscribers I can get. Um, give me some ideas of some uh, videos you might wanna see or some things you might wanna see me do or, or just some ideas for new videos. Always looking for some. Uh, right now, I am in Warner Robins, Georgia. Do, gonna be doing an automobile inspection. Don't know if I show you too many pictures of that, but I did pass a Bucky's. I've never been to the Bucky's in Macon, Georgia, which is where I am now. Actually, this is Warner Robins, Georgia. We're just south of Macon. It's the same central area. Um, but uh, come on along. And I was I'm, I may try to find a, an arcade or something that takes some pictures of it. I think Rigby's is up here somewhere. So I may go to Rigby's and, and check it out. Because I'm just living the coolest life. <laughs> happened was uh, I did the inspection and got it all done and I was going to go to the uh, it's a place called um, I was going to go to <sighs> it's a good thing I don't I don't do outtakes huh? this, whole, this whole video would be an outtake <laughs> anyway I was going to go to I was going to go to a pinball place and uh, they had one here in town in, uh, in, in Macon which is just north of Warner Robins they're almost the same community so they had one and uh what they, uh, uh, however, it was, a, it was actually a bar. It doesn't open till five o'clock, and I'm not hanging out that long. Uh, however, the uh, I looked for another place. I was going to go to Rigby's, and Rigby's doesn't open till four, I think, today. So I'm not going to hang out for that either. So anyway, uh, I'm on the way back home, and uh, I ran into a Bucky's. What Bucky's is? Uh, and one thing about Bucky's is they've got they've got these tumblers. Uh, the thing I like about the tumblers is they're extremely cheap. These are $7.99. This one here says, don't tread on me, but they got some that say Bucky's. I got some others. But I can't find these anywhere brand new for less than 10 bucks. Normally they're 24 and up. So it's crazy. But uh, if you've never been to a Bucky's, you need to come to a Bucky's. It's basically a, a, a Walmart of truck stops. Because um, they've got uh, 18 wheelers can do it one side and gas pumps at the other and uh, gas pumps over here there's like 120 of them there's a bunch of them gas is relatively cheap too right now i think i paid 269 and uh in columbus i think it's running real close to 280 so so it's a definitely a good deal so when you're shopping around and you feel like you're going to stop someplace stop at bucky's because i'm going to get me a brisket sandwich i love their brisket sandwiches they do a good job with it so i'm going to get me one here and get something to drink and head back to the house well, uh, can you guess where I am now? Anybody? Anybody? Nobody? Nobody can guess where I am now? <laughs> this is downtown Reynolds. There's only one light in Reynolds, and that's it. Um, and it's normally green going this way, which is the main thoroughfare. There's a uh, strawberry festival that they have here every year. And uh, if you're ever in this area, in fact, I think the strawberry festival just happened, of course, Saturday in April. And it seems like they have a parade. Sometimes I participate in a parade with some Shriners. Done that in the past. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go inside this shop because this is like a little antique shop. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. There's a lot of, uh, uh, hope you don't get too much wind. There's a lot of those uh, those things you sit in for kids. I used to sit outside the old Kmart. And they got some of this, got some water in it there. We've, had, we've got a lot of rain recently. They were all lined up here, I think. They knew there was going to be a lot of rain, so they put them all in here. Here's some more of them here. This one just like it. That one's got a better top on it. <clears throat> I'm going to see if they let me record some inside. Come on with me. So back here toward the back, there's also a whole lot of uh, radios. He's got some setups there. And he's got some here. Some older ones, or even older. You can see they're not frozen up or anything. Don't know if any of them work. I guess you can plug them in and test them. It's got a lot of pieces and some stuff you've probably never seen before. Some of them, some of this, a lot of this stuff makes good accent pieces around your house or uh, conversation pieces. And he's got records. So if one of these uh, jukeboxes didn't uh, 
have records, you can definitely pick up some records here. Because he's got some. Some old radios. Pretty neat. As you can see, there's a whole lot of it. This will take you several days to go through it and several days to go through it and actually look at everything. Go the jukebox. Whole bunch of records. <laughs> nice. These are actually old vintage signs. Some are real vintage and some not so much, but he's got them wrapped in cellophane. Good little accents. And there's several of these jukeboxes. There's a jukebox under here. This is actually a jukebox. And here's a real nice one here. Although everything's missing, everything's not missing here. It's a full turnstile. And there's about, uh, I'd say about nine jukeboxes in here. They're kind of scattered. There's definitely a whole lot to look and see in here. To rummage through if you got some time. You're in the Reynolds, Georgia. Come by through here. Stop for an hour. And, and you never know what kind of gym you might find. That, you can't see it, but that is a radio. <laughs> nice. Definitely some old chairs that could use some more work, but stop by here.